Good morning everybody, Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. And it's Monday, Monday here in New Zealand, so happy Monday everybody, or Sunday if you're in parts of the world where it is still Sunday. Sorry, I'm just going to move the camera a little bit, it was wobbling against the edge of my desk. So I'm just bringing you along today to work on a project that I've had um, just hanging around, and so I thought, well... I'm going to finish it off. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I started it and it got packed away with stuff and I recently came across it again and it's been floating around my desk and stuff and it's been getting damaged so it's time I dealt with it. Um, I'm just ripping an image out of a magazine and it fits perfectly with Scrappy September that Lydia and I are doing because it's I'm going to be using up some scraps as well as some freshly harvested bits like this magazine image. So what it is, I'm collaging by colour. And I did a video on this when I first set up my YouTube channel like a couple of years or more ago. Uh, and this, I believe, was one of the ones I was working on that I just never completed. So it's about time and it's getting yeah it is getting damaged so I need to deal with it so I can use it and therefore it's no longer going to get damaged or anything so collaging by color is something that I really enjoy doing um, when I've gone through a magazine and I've, I've harvested everything that I want in terms of images and words etc uh, just going back through and looking for things in the background or things that uh, have potential but which I don't have any other use for like this sculpture here I'm looking for the colour so I've got this sculpture and this colour palette here is, is neutral cream off white um, that sort of colour I've got a scrap of a digital printable here that I thought would work uh, as a magazine image of some timber flooring uh, some chair upholstery which may be a little bit too yellow for this um, but I grabbed it just to see uh, a scrap of some pattern paper this is an advertisement and you probably can't tell in the camera but it's got a textured background and it's a creamy color and then there's this wall color of a yellow sort of ombre as the light hits it so that's what I've grabbed to fill in the gaps that I've got left on this and then once this is finished this is a masterboard essentially um, I actually did these before I knew what a masterboard was um, so you cut it up into tags, pockets, journal cards, whatever you need or want. So I might as well start with a little bit of this pattern paper. And yeah, so grab your own supplies uh, or whatever you're working on and just come along. It doesn't need to be the same thing I'm doing, um, but awesome if it is. And I'm just going to get this done so I can... Yeah, stop it being damaged any further. Actually, I like the other side better. So maybe we'll put that there. Yeah, so collaging is relaxing, so it's a good thing to do. It's a holiday here in New Zealand today, just a one-off holiday uh, to mark the passing of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, so that's it's really nice to have a, a day off, especially because we went into daylight savings um, yesterday. So we are running an hour short on sleep. So it's nice to have a holiday straight after so we can get a bit used to the, the uh, change in time. But um, A lot of people don't like daylight savings, but I love it. I love that it signifies um, warmer weather. Um, longer days, longer hour light, daylight, sorry, get, my, get the right words out. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've been really looking forward to daylight savings kicking in, and it is now kicked in. So it always feels um, more positive, I guess. Warmth is coming. Anyway. So uh, our last scrappy action for the month is up. So if you haven't seen that on Lydia's channel yet, hop along. I've already watched it this morning. Uh, super, super fun. I hope you've enjoyed Scrappy September as much as what Lydia and I have. 
we've just thoroughly enjoyed coming up with things to bring you and working together has been uh, just just super fun lots and lots of fun it's uh, strengthened our friendship and um, yeah just it's really fun when you're sparking off somebody with ideas uh, sometimes when you're working alone you can get a little bit either stuck in a rut or just a bit flagging on what to do and so working with someone who is as passionate as you are about something just really really useful for increasing your creativity as scrappy september has been all over you know forcing forcing us to look at things a bit differently the whole trash craft tuesday or thursday uh, that lydia does has been doing um and i see some of these original pieces uh lifting so i'll just glue those down um yeah it's, it's just great for the creativity so if you've been participating we'd love to know what you think love to see what you've been doing had some beautiful comments on the videos from people so that's really really lovely love hearing from you guys seeing what you're up to or what what you've found inspiring or all those sorts of things so if you're coming into this video and you haven't watched me before I am running a subscriber giveaway at the moment it closes this coming Friday New Zealand time so yes you do need to be a subscriber subscriber to be in to win but you also need to watch my giveaway video and answer the question that's in it so if you're interested in that um, pop along prize is a journal handmade journal uh, and it's open anywhere in the world so I know a lot of things that are only open for certain areas but this one I've got open worldwide I've worked out a way I can send things relatively affordably now that I'm looking at that I think that's a bit dark I might just leave that one out for now let's try our chair see if that's going to work I mean it doesn't matter if it's slightly off my original color palette um, it won't matter at all. Oh, that's a pretty little, I quite like that image. I might save that. A little embroidered purse or something. And I can't remember what I was saying. Giveaway? Yeah, yeah. So if you want a, a chance to win a journal, then pop along and see my, uh, it's the video previous to this one that came out Friday or if you're in the States or somewhere like that, that would have been Thursday. Um, and watch it, it's only a short one. And be in to win by doing what I've asked for in that video. And it's nothing major, it's you know, nothing hard. Right, yep, I think this colour will work fine. So yeah, apart from Scrappy September, which is pretty much occupied um, most of my month and Lydia's month too, I would say. Um, what have you guys been up to? What have you been watching that uh, has you've found enjoyable or been helpful? Um, that is a scrap there, but there's a gap here. Always on the lookout for um, good YouTube channels to watch. When I get the chance, actually, I'm way, way behind on my watching. I've been, haven't had much time at all to watch my favourite channels. But, you know, there's, there's always, always open to adding more. And it just means that I have to spread my time a bit differently <laughs> to what I was. Uh, so looking forward to October now I guess, um, September almost over, so I have another collaboration um, coming up in October with a different channel, um, it's just a one-off video that I'll be doing for that one though, and that I think is in the first week of October, so yeah, not much time in between, which is fine.
going to be a challenging one, that one too. I have no idea what I'm going to do for it. I know what I have to use for it, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I need to get uh, September over and done with before I can turn my attention to thinking about it. Trying to just give myself uh, less things to keep me awake at night <laughs> by not thinking about too many things. Because my head, once I hit the pillow, it can be the time when inspiration hits and I find that super annoying. It's like, I just want to go to sleep so I can think tomorrow. Does anyone else get that? That, you know, as soon as you try and go to sleep, that's when your mind goes overactive. It's just super annoying. I need my sleep. I don't cope well on lack of sleep. Mind you, not many people do cope well on lack of sleep. Sleep's kind of important, don't you think? But I'm definitely not a night owl. So lying awake at night with my head full of ideas and things does not do well for me overall. And it usually takes me a few days to recover when you know, that happens, like it happened last weekend, last Saturday night. My mind was racing with ideas and I had to get up several times during the night and write down my ideas because they were very exciting and I didn't want to lose the ideas that were coming to me. So a few times I got up, wrote them down and then I'd wake up again and have a whole host of things to add to that. And yeah, it, it took me took me a little while to recover from that. Uh, that's getting a bit sticky from that night. And if truth be told, I think I'm probably still... A little bit under on my sleep even though I've had really good sleeps it just affects me longer and I think that's purely because of my thyroid issues it takes me whoops I'm sorry if you can hear my phone it keeps um keeps singing out beside me I didn't put it on do not disturb unfortunately Right, what else have I got here? This wall. Let's see if we grab a bit of this wall colour. Oh, there's some cool, cool blue. I might save that for something else. I love colours and textures and backgrounds of magazine images and ads. I think they're a wealth of material to use. Um, this is shiny paper, which is not my favourite, but it's okay for this. Uh, these will be layered up with uh, focal points and things like that, so it won't be an issue in the long run. And it will just be pieces here and there that are shiny. So this glue stick is almost out. I'm hoping to it down whoops put it in the place right place um get it down to the plastic bit and then i can grab out my other one so you might notice i'm doing quite small pieces for this collage you can make them any size that you want um typically though i find when i'm using background pieces of, of magazine images and that that you end up with only small bits to work with because it's just a piece of the overall so it's little snippets here and there i really need to print out some more use uh, printables to use for collaging because when i print them out i find it difficult to use them as to whip up because they're so pretty and i just want to use them as is but they're so useful to have for collage really love having them so i need to print off some more so i've got some more fodder and with scrappy september using up uh, a lot of my scraps then i need to add some new stuff so i've got more to work with this is the corner that's quite crinkly and bent and damaged
don't really want that darker yellow on that but just rip that off and the beauty of this is you can pick and choose what bits you want without worrying about um, what else is in the image that you might like because you've already been through the magazine and taken what you want although as I found with that little purse image you quite often find little bits that you overlooked which is another great reason to go through again no, I might actually want that straight edge yeah whoops getting down to the plastic now I can feel the plastic scraping against the paper as I'm gluing Oops, drag that over a bit don't want it to cover that whole piece so this might be the last bit gluing with this glue stick I think going to get a bit annoying I'm starting to get all sticky right put a gap over here so let's fill that one ah that's a bit close to that one so maybe we'll put this somewhere else I try and, and vary the location so that, you know, you get a nice blend of, of patterns and colours together. So, I, as you noticed, you, I keep switching my paper around uh, so I can work on different areas. And that helps, usually, avoid putting the same piece, piece type of pieces too close. Right. Don't know that there's any more I can get out of that bit and this is the sculpture there's a lighter bit there so maybe I'll just take that lighter bit and pop that in that wee gap perfect so has everybody got a wee busy week ahead because uh, it's a public holiday here um, my husband's home so he's away in the bedroom working on something and he'll come back out when I'm finished doing my video so we're just having a relaxing day pretty much I find doing my videos relaxing so that's uh, good and uh, we'll probably just watch some a movie or something and then what's tomorrow tomorrow Trashcraft Tuesday of course, I love Trash Craft Tuesday, so I'm looking forward to bringing you a video tomorrow on using some trash. And it will be the last Scrappy September Trash Craft video from me for the month. And then I'll be back to normal Trash Craft Tuesday next week. And then I will probably be away from home, not sure what days yet, but potentially Monday. Ah, uh, sorry, not Monday. Today's Monday potentially Wednesday through Friday uh, definitely away Friday um, but yeah not sure what other days I'm going to be away yet from home so I'll have to do some pre-recording uh, I was recording at my husband's work but I just find it a bit too echoey in the room that I was recording in and also just carrying everything backwards and forwards was getting super annoying um, so now I just choose to record ahead and therefore I'm not transporting a whole heap of stuff backwards and forwards which is a lot better and a lot safer on the equipment less likelihood of it being damaged and then I get a, a day it's actually quite good I get a day where I can just take whatever I want to work on and, and take the supplies I need only for that and just enjoy doing something crafty without, you know, pressure of somebody watching or having to do a video or anything. Don't get me wrong though, I love doing the videos. But yeah, it's just, it's nice. And it's nice to be amongst the, you know, people and laughing and 
having conversations and there's a lot of banter that happens so that's super fun gets me out of my shell because I do like being at home by myself I do have to say I'm a introvert definitely so it's good to get me out of my shell and then I want to go shopping on Friday as well so that's something to look forward to do like this pattern paper and it's just just the right color I think for this collage it's essentially uh, on newsprint So in the original one that I'd already started were magazine, bits of magazine images, um, dictionary page, and I think that was pretty much it. There's two types of paper that I used. Oops, I can leave that there, I'll cover that. And then I'll have a little gap there to cover. A little bit needed so I don't know whether I'm going to make anything with this collage board on camera um, depends how long we've been at it once I've got it covered I didn't intend to do anything with it maybe I'll just cut it up maybe I'll do that grab some more of this textured creamy color background looks like it's a textured paper texture if that makes sense <laughs> did you hear that glue stick all wobbling around if you didn't put it down flat on its base Maybe this bit down here. Yep. So a great way to use up your scraps doing something like this. And, you know, you don't have to do it by colour. But I just enjoy the cohesion that comes when you do something um, with a limited sort of colour. And then, you know, this would be perfect for any neutral themed journal for a vintage um, vibe. But it, not necessarily vintage. Um, what else would it suit? It would suit nature or, um, you know, anything. It's all how you dress it up. But it gives you a beautiful um, background to work with. It will suit a number of different styles. I'm just getting lumps of glue on my glue page here. It's the thing with collage, you just go through a lot of glue pages uh, getting all sticky right there's a gap there a gap there that one's needs a bit more glue right can we use a bit more of the sculpture maybe this light a bit here might work I don't want the blue I did get a little bit of blue on the other bit. I stuck down by accident, but so tiny it won't matter. Oh, the paper stuck to my... Sorry, reaching under the camera, but my <laughs> paper was all stuck to my fingers. So do let me know if you try this, if you try a uh, limited colour collage. Uh, if you want to pop along and see my very, very old video, then feel free to do that as well. I'm not going to link it because, you know, it's really old and I don't even know what I say in it, to be honest. I haven't watched it uh, for years. But if you're curious, um, yeah, by all means. I've thought about deleting my really old initial videos, um, but you know, they're, they're part of my development, part of my history of doing YouTube, um, and there's, uh, there's one or two there that I do remember making, and you know, I still really like what I did, or thought they were interesting or of value, so I thought, no, I'm just going to leave them, 
most people probably won't go back and watch old stuff anyway because there's so much content out there why would you need to to be honest like there's so much fresh new content out there um techniques and styles and things that weren't even around when i started so i don't imagine anyone is, has a burning desire to go and see old stuff find the uh, when you start getting the little gaps left it gets trickier to to fill them ah, that piece there and I'm just layering up uh, overlapping bits and pieces to give that sort of really um, organic unplanned look because it's I mean it's definitely unplanned it's just what fits where basically I only used the other side of this paper once so maybe I'll use the other side of that I just really like the daisies that were on um, one side of it so I tended to use that side more but it's great having double sided uh, papers like this pattern paper because then it just helps you vary your collage with, without any effort whatsoever it just lends itself to Switching it up. That overlaps with the same paper, but it's a different section, different pattern, so I think I'll get away with that. I perhaps should have should have grabbed out a few more different scrap options, but never mind. We'll, we'll make do. I'm getting black all over my fingers from the glue and the ink on the some of the pages. I'm not sure whether it's the pattern paper or the printable. Um, I'll get that straight edge. I don't think I want this bit against an edge. And you don't have to tear off the straight edges if you prefer to leave them on, uh, then by all means. It's whatever you prefer. I just like the torn edges personally. So it gives it an interesting look. Oops, I tore that bit means it's time I change my glue page out again so where it tore I'll just put a little bit of glue under there and stick it back down so fortunately it didn't come completely off right change out my glue page so I don't tear any more paper and almost at an end on this collage more the sculpture I think that's about it for that bit yeah it is a bit dark but that's okay I think it'll be fine it's it's still the, the colors are fine it's just darker so get away with it and once you put it down it actually looks fine Right, I've got a gap down here and a small one there, so perhaps I'll put that on the small bit. Like that. Now this bit, get maybe another bit of this creamy background. And... I don't know about you, but I just love the freedom in tearing like this. Like, you don't have to be precious. You're not fussy tearing, uh, although sometimes you do need to tear around something in an image. But it's just, there's a great freedom in it. 
I find. I'm doing a Scala collage. Yep. Perfect. And when you're overlap, whoops, I've got a here and there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, when you're overlapping like this, it all helps strengthen your base piece. So it becomes nice and strong to use however you want to use it. I'm just going to use a piece of this blank um, if pattern paper just to fill that gap. And its shape becomes interesting because there's no print or pattern. And its colour as well. Its colour works fine. What else? This is basically white. This section where the light's hitting the wall. But let's see. Yeah, no, it's too white. Don't like it. Maybe I can try this uh, bit of woven rug down the bottom it's like a jute rug or something um, so not this patterned rug that's over top of it but just there's a tiny little strip of texture so jute or hessian or something like that it looks like that might be okay possibly a little dark but Just put it over that gap. Make sure it covers the whole gap because I was missing slightly then. Right, getting there guys. Hope you're hanging in there. Hope you're collaging along or doing whatever crafty thing you'd like to. I don't think one ever needs an excuse to do something crafty. That's the lifeblood. It is. I honestly get quite down if I don't have an opportunity to do something creative. And so I am blessed to be able to craft almost 24-7. You know, I've still got chores to do, cooking, you know, church on a Sunday, all those things. But the rest of the time, I get to play. I get to play, really, and make beautiful things. Sometimes it's not so beautiful. That's okay, too. Just the act of creating is what it's about. Right, this bigger gap here. I'm really feeling like I need something else, like I haven't got enough options. So I'm just going to grab out another magazine here and see if I can quickly find, and look, on the first page, it's more beigey though. Let's see what else we can find. Bear with me while I do a little bit of magazine harvesting. Not too much so far. I might have to go back to that beigey. Oh, this one will be alright. Background of an ad. Let's take this one and quickly flip through and see what else might appeal. Ah, yes, like that. So I'm just going to cut out her clothing. Because I think that will work really beautifully. Some beautiful textures in there. Right, I think that will do. Oops, magazine stuck to the blue page. Right, first I'm going to take some of this clothing because I think this is super pretty. And the colours are going to work really, really well. Some lovely lacy texture. Filling up my rubbish bin too with 
discards. And I don't want her hands in there. I've just got the bottom of her hands, so take that off. Right, really want to get this beautiful lacy texture in there. Just want to stick that. Oops, sorry about that. Big crash. I think the colours work really well. It's a little bit darker where her legs are underneath the lace. Don't care. Love it. Right, I'm sure I had more gaps. Tell me if you see where my gaps are. Because I really want to use this lace. The rest of this lace are here. Put that down there. And then I might just put the other bit. If there's no more gaps, just layer it over top. Uh, just so I get to use it. go there's that bit and are there any other gaps a little bit of one there I think where I've missed missed and that's it so I am just going to pop this bit somewhere like that roughly and then it is done and ready to trim up first and then cut down there. I'm pleased I found that clothing because I think that worked beautifully. So this is on the back of a um, scrapbook sheet from a child at preschool. It was one of our foster children actually did this back in 2002. You know, eventually it comes to a time um, where you've got to use these things or throw them out or do something. Um, so yeah, they become forever in journals, whatever journals this ephemera is going to end up. And it's going to have writing paper on the other side. Okay, there we go. It's all ready to cut up. So I'm just going to cut up along with them. Oh, we've been going quite a while, so I won't decorate. I'm just going to cut up. So if you haven't seen what to do with the master board, um, then it might give you some ideas. I'm just going to get rid of my scraps out of my way. There we go. And I'm just going to arbitrarily choose where to cut it. I'm not, apart from lining it up on my grid so that I cut straight, um, I'm not worried about measuring anything or how big, you know. Try and maximise what I can get out of it. So cut it thoughtfully. So first I'm going to take a strip that will become a belly band. Or a side pocket or something of that sort. So that's my first piece. Now line it up again. Make sure it's straight. And get a couple of maybe journal cards or pockets out of the strip. And I'm not going to do them in half. I'm going to do one slightly bigger than the other. Just to give me different options. Oops, I don't know if you heard that. My stomach was gurgling. And I've husband made me a cup of coffee and I haven't touched it yet it's probably cold uh, so that one's square don't mind it's all good right what do I want to do with this one maybe some a tag I'll do one tag and then see what's left over I see I need to do a bit more trimming on this as well near the paper overhangs so let's do a tag out there and maybe two taller tags on this one so as you can see it's like 
I'm not worrying about direction or anything. I'm turning around and cutting because when I collage, I don't collage with a direction. It's just every which way. And that truly is, I believe, the best way because it gives you the best range of options going forward. Right, and this one, oh, it is straight. I thought it was wonky, but it's not. Maybe the bottom's not straight. Because the bottom's where it was torn out of the scrapbook. So just give that a little trim up while I'm here. There we go, and this other one as well. Might as well do it now. Well, I've got, got everything out. There we go. We have three tags. So roughly-ish, all sort of similar sizing. So three tags, we have this squarish, it's not quite square, but squarish, either journal card or pocket, and this slightly smaller journal card or pocket, and then we have this longer strip for either a belly band or a side pocket, um, or cut it in half again and trim a page with it. So lots of options, ready to decorate up, trim into tag shapes, etc. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was of value. And I hope you crafted along with me. Let me know what you're working on if you uh, were. Okay, thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you back tomorrow for Trash Craft Tuesday. Bye for now.